In today's video, we are going to create a program to download candlestick data from Binance Exchange to a CSV file. We are going to make use of Kline API to build this tool. This is a public API, so we can directly call it without authentication. Let's look at the API real quick. You can see that we can pass the symbol, interval and start and end dates and it returns a candlestick data in the form of an array. We can download a maximum of 1000 candles at a time. So you have to make multiple requests if you want to download the data over a large period of time. So we need to take two things into account when we build this tool. First is the API limit which is 1000 which determines how many candles we can download in one request. So for example if you want to download one minute candles for the past one week that's 7 times 24 hours times 60 minutes which is roughly 10,000 candles. That means we have to make 10 requests, each returning 1000 candles. Second thing to take into account is the rate limit, which is the maximum frequency of APR requests we can make from a particular IP address. Binance rate limit is 1200 requests per minute. So we need to limit our API calls in the code to meet this criteria. Otherwise, our IP address will get banned. Finally, let's look at the node modules that we need to write the code. The first one we need is request promise, which is required to make the API calls. Second, we need bottleneck to throttle the API calls to make sure that we meet the Binance rate limit. Third, we need Lodash module to perform complex operations on arrays. And finally, we need fast CSV to export the data into a CSV file. That's it. Let's begin with the build. First, let's initialize and install all the required modules. Then let's create config.js file where we'll store all the parameters. So we need symbol, time frame, from timestamp, and we have to specify timestamps in a certain format. Then we need two timestamp in the same format. Then we need the file name to store in a CSV file. I'm going to put the parameters in a code block so that we isolate uh, the parameters from the rest of the code. And finally, we need to define TFW where we store the duration for each time frame in milliseconds. We need to do this because we have to send timestamp in milliseconds when we make API calls. So I'm doing this for all the available time frames. Finally, we're going to create get parameters function which returns all the parameters. I'm doing this separately because I want to convert the timestamp from the provided format into milliseconds. That's it. Config.js file is finished. Next, let's create kline.js file. And here, first, let's import all the required modules. So we're going to import request promise, bottleneck, and lodash. And we're also going to import the config file that we just created. And then file system to perform read write operations and we need csv to export csv files i'm going to create a reference for console log so we're going to pass symbol and all the required parameters and we are going to import the milliseconds based on the time frame and then we're going to identify how many requests we have to make then we're going to return all the required endpoints based on n So I'm going to copy the endpoint and just change the parameters. Next, we are going to create an asynchronous function that adheres to Binance rate limit. So to do that, first we'll create a limiter object and in, inside the limiter object, we can define all the parameters. So I'm going to set the parameters to 15 requests per second that translates to 900 requests per minute, which is way below the threshold limit. So we should be good. Then we're going to create the asynchronous function that calls the K line URL and then returns the response back. I'm going to wrap them in try catch modules to handle any exceptions. Finally, we need to wrap the asynchronous function with the limiter object to limit its frequency. Then we're going to write the download function which has the core logic. So first we're going to import all the required parameters from the config file using the get parameters function. Then we're going to return all the endpoints based on from and to timestamps. 
by calling get request array then we're going to log the number of requests in the console then we're going to put another log to initiate download then we'll add the header file which are nothing but the headers for the csv file and finally we're going to get the results using promise.all and i'm going to use a map function to to make all the requests run in parallel and it's going to return a two dimensional array so i'm going to use flatten to make it one dimensional and then we're just going to map it to the required fields Finally, I'm going to include header and the results and combine them into one array using spread operator. And finally, we need to save the records to CSV file. So for that, I'm going to open a write stream to the file name and then I'm going to write them using CSV module. And when it's finished, we're going to log a message to the console that the candlestick data has been downloaded. In order to run the program, you just need to update these five parameters as per your requirement and run the file kln.js. So right now I have, uh, you know, the symbol and everything specified. I'll just change the from timestamp to 18th. So I'll be downloading one minute candles for two days. Now, let me just go to the console and make sure that you're in this folder and run the file node K line and hit enter. You can see that it has to process three requests. The download has begun and yeah, it's finished. So you should now see a file with a specified name in this folder. And you can see the data is formatted as we specified in the code and, and it works as expected. And you can also open the file in Excel. Yep, you can see that the data is formatted as we specified with all the headers and it looks pretty good. Yep, that's it for this video. I hope you find it useful. Just let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.